Hey everybody, Randy here. Just wanted to do a quick video update so you all didn't think I fell off the face of the earth. I was hoping to have a feature video up this week, but the script is sort of running away from me, and obviously I'm going to go back through it and try to trim out what's unnecessary and, and keep what is necessary, but I feel like there's a lot of good quality content in it so far, and I'm probably going to have a hard time trimming it down. But it's also a video that I've put a lot of time into it, I did a lot of research for it, and when I release it, I want to make sure that it's as right as I possibly can. So, uh, unfortunately, that might get pushed back a little bit. Now, people have been asking for other content from me recently, and, and I just kind of wanted to address where some of these videos are or where they might be. One, the Doom video review. I never did a video review for Doom, and the reason why I never did a video review for Doom was because I simply couldn't. I, I really wanted to. I, I did everything within my power to try to capture that game, and it just would not capture. I tried to use Shadow Play, but Shadow Play wouldn't capture anything from the game. Um, it would only capture the pause screen, and as soon as I would unpause the game, it would it would still just continue to capture the pause screen and, and not the background. I mean, that would be within full screen mode, window or borderless windowed mode, and the only way I could capture the gameplay from Doom was if I ran the game in fully windowed mode, which is terrible because you know who wants to be looking at my Windows screens while I'm playing a game and, and talking about it? It just it just looked atrocious. I tried alternate software like OBS, but even when I tried to record it with OBS, I was just getting terrible results with it. I mean, I would I would be seeing super smooth you know gameplay on my screen, but OBS would be recording like pff, just jagged gameplay the whole while. So. I eventually just threw up my arms in the air and said no review for Doom and then kind of moved on. I like the game a lot. It's definitely a, a super fun uh, first person shooter, I, as, as is obvious from um, just the sales and, and, the, uh, and the great uh, commentary that has, has been coming out about the game. It's, it's a wonderful game. Uh, and it's kind of sad that I didn't get to do a video review for that because I was super excited about it. And uh, let's see. After that, I, I went in and I did the, the Warhammer review. Oh, and the next video after this feature video is going to be the Witcher 3 reviews, or the Witcher 3 DLC reviews. I didn't get an early copy of the, of the Witcher 3 uh, DLC. I think they only did that for consoles, and, and I have Witcher 3 on PC. I could be mistaken. I, I don't know. But... Uh, I'm going to be playing through that slowly. I will be probably playing through it twice if there are um, multiple way, you know, multiple choices to to do in the game. If it's anything like the core game, there's the, you know the choices are going to have some pretty big consequences within the game. So I want to go through and experience both ways that the game, or or as many ways as I possibly can with the game, and capture all of it as much as I can to get it ready for The Witcher Three retrospective. So just running down the list of the videos that I'll be having. Doom 2016 is is axed. Feature video for uh, content that I don't want to talk about just yet because I want it to be ready. That will probably be next. And then the Witcher 3 DLC review or reviews. And then after that, uh, the Witcher 3 retrospective. Because I went through, played through all of the Witcher 3 twice, got a good ending. There are multiple good endings, but I got one of the good endings. Um, and then I played through again and intentionally did the bad ending on it as well which i don't know if you if any of you out there have done the bad ending but the bad ending man that really really twists the knife in your gut so it will be that and then i have other feature videos coming up as well i've got a, a nice stack of of ideas that i'm trying to burn through here plus 25 games for my son um Plus, whatever reviews are, are also coming out. There's some indie games that have been coming out recently, too, that I've been itching to uh, to play. But I'm trying to balance everything with, with personal life schedule, with uh, Elder Geek schedule, etc., etc. So, new videos soon, I promise. Just wanted to, like I said, put this video out and, and let everybody know what's going on, what's coming up, and, you know, why I am why I can't create content on, daily, on a daily basis. But... Um, Anyway, thanks everybody for subscribing, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you've been enjoying the uh, video in the background, which is obviously Total War Warhammer. Thanks so much, talk to you all soon.
This video is made possible through generous fan donations on Patreon.